Today's video is going to be a life update video. I think I'm going to do quite a few of these just throughout the year, just randomly, just to update you on my life here and there because I think sometimes I film a lot of videos but then I, you don't actually know like much about me. So the first one is that I managed to get my laptop fixed. This is my laptop, it's a MacBook and it did sadly pass away so to speak. There was something wrong with it and basically I researched you know what it was doing because it was flashing up with a folder with a question mark on it. So if your MacBook ever flashes up with a folder and a question mark on it and you can't get onto your laptop, research how to fix it because what we did is we researched it, we followed a YouTube video, we followed all the steps to do, press different things and then we ordered a spare part for the hard drive. It wasn't the hard drive but I think it was to do with it anyway and we that was seven pounds according to my dad. We put it in the laptop and it was fixed. So I've been a few weeks without a laptop so I haven't been able to edit um, and you know upload proper videos but I can now. So that's really good. Uh, there's just no storage on my phone and you just can't film on a phone and edit. It's just too stressful. So that's the first update. The second one is that I have new hair. I cut my hair yesterday and I don't know, like I just really needed a haircut. I hadn't cut my hair in nine months. The last time I'd cut it, I actually filmed a video on my channel. So if you wanna go and see that, then I will link it down below. I do cut my own hair, like I physically cut my own hair. It was kind of like, it was like down here, so I cut off quite a lot, like literally I just went straight in. It took me about 15 minutes. It's really, really quick. I always cut my own hair because I just, I just think it's so much easier for me personally in terms of time. Um, so yeah, it's quicker and I know how to do it because it's just not that hard and if you mess up, you can just, you know, fix bits here and there. You know, your hair is not meant to be perfectly straight. like. To me, this is absolutely fine for what I want. So yeah, really, really like that. And I just needed to go short to make my hair healthier. And I really, really like the change. Um, I don't think I'll dye my hair anytime soon, but maybe nearer Christmas, I'll dye it a little bit darker because I do kind of like a little bit darker hair. Um, but yeah, so that's my new hair. Next update is that I am currently at uni. If you didn't know that, I did film a video on um, sort of talking about my first week of uni, freshers week and the week after that. And yeah, I'm studying accounting and finance at Lincoln University, if you didn't already know that. And it's going really well, like it is going well. I'm doing a separate video completely on how uni is going. Um, I've got all my books and stuff ready, so that video will be going up very, very soon. But yeah, uni is going so well. It's so much better than I thought and I'm really, really happy with it. There's quite a few other updates that I do need to tell you um, relating to uni, but I'll tell you. So I've got a list basically written on my laptop because you know, you've got to be organized these days. Um, but yeah, so we'll get onto those. But yeah, uni in general, really, really well. You know, if you are looking to go to uni, you know, you're not too sure if that's sort of for you or anything like that. Um, obviously look into it but personally I absolutely love it like it's not I don't go to uni because like my motivation for going to uni is not I'm gonna get a good job or I'm gonna get a degree or whatever my motivation to go to uni is I'm gonna have fun um, I really enjoy it I love doing the work I love going out I love being with my friends stuff like that so it's just a great experience in general for me anyway I'm sure other people would beg to differ why does my face look so pale Whoa! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did anybody see that? Oh, it's just a box slipped. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. So I also thought that I should probably mention something else because some of my subscribers follow me on Instagram and some of them, um, or some of you, follow me on Snapchat or whatever and um, you'll see that I have a new boyfriend. I did used to have a boyfriend called Aubrey and he has been on my channel quite a few times because he had his own channel. I will link his channel down below because we're still really good friends. So if you want to go and subscribe to his channel, then please do. Um, but yeah, Aubrey was on my channel a lot. We was together for about like, I think almost probably like two years and like four or five months, maybe even two and a half years. So we was together for quite a long time, but we decided to break up. And I'm completely fine with talking about this on here because 
me and him are actually really good friends now and we, we can still meet up and talk and have a coffee and whatever like we're still completely good friends and we actually prefer it like that now he's openly talked on his channel about breaking up with me so i felt like i can now do that um on my channel and yeah so me and aubrey did break up for those of you that know who he he is if you've watched my videos before um and i do have a new boyfriend now and his name is tom i met him at uni he's actually um one of my friend emma's flatmates so my friend emma moved in to a flat that she shared with five other people and tom was one of those so he is now my new boyfriend and you will see him sort of in a few videos to come i'm not gonna like push him you know on my channel too much because you know i just need to introduce him subtly do you know what i mean um so yeah if you want to go and sort of see a little bit more about my life then you can follow my instagram which i'll link below my snapchat which i'll leave on the screen it's just georgie car and with an e in the middle don't forget that e stands for eleanor because that's my middle name um and you know obviously everybody that followed me on instagram and snapchat just knows the updates in my life before youtube does so if you want to know that then go over there but yeah i do have a new boyfriend but me and aubrey are completely good terms tom and aubrey have met each other so i just thought i'd mention that and i know some people probably think well why are you talking about this on your channel it's to do with your personal life but aubrey talked about it on his channel and we're still really good friends so it's completely fine to talk about so that's just another update also relating to that i have actually been spending a lot of time at tom's flat so obviously he lives with my friend emma so i get to spend a lot of time with her as well but i've actually been spending a lot of the week there the reason why is because his flat is so close to the university like buildings and things like that and my house is a 45 minute walk away from that and i just like the convenience of being able to just go in and i love spending time with tom and his flatmates i just I don't know like they're all really really nice people and it's just a nice experience like it's something different to me I'm not you know I've never experienced effectively like staying away from home for that amount of time um if you don't know I I, I haven't moved out I, I live at home technically but I have been spending a lot of time at their flat um I think this week I was there Sunday night up until Thursday night so Sunday night up until Friday I was there till um just because it's so much easier for uni and more convenient basically and I just want to do work more when I'm at their flat I don't know why um but yeah I'm really enjoying sort of doing that kind of thing which is what another reason why I haven't been able to film too too many videos there's another little update which you know my mum likes my dad doesn't like is the fact that I want a hamster me and Tom want to get a hamster um I know my friend Jordana also wants to get a hamster but you know who doesn't love a hamster and they're just so cute and I've always said this for like two years that I want to get a hamster and I want to call it Dean so it will be technically mine and Tom's hamster but over like you know weekends or anything or whenever Tom can't you know look after the hamster I will look after the hamster here um my mum for some reason thinks I won't look after the hamster or I won't feed it or I won't clean it and I, I think she doesn't realise that I'm actually 18 years old and um, when you have to look after somebody else or something else you, you just do it don't you like it maybe I don't tidy my room or maybe I don't you know keep everything organised in my room but that's for me like i can get away with that when it's a pet involved you have to do it and also i want to do it i've always i always used to enjoy cleaning out a hamster cage guinea pig and rabbit cage is a different story because it's not as easy um but a hamster cage is so much different um so i don't see why she thinks that because honestly i couldn't disagree more with the fact that of course i'm going to clean out the cage of course i'm going to look after it you know um you have to and i'm old enough to realize that now um but yeah and th the reason why i want to call it dean is to name it after my dad called dean don't know why i just do if it's a female hamster i'll call it pammy because my mom's called pam and i just think the hamster will you know it's like a pamster pam pammy the pamster pamster the hamster you know what I'm saying? So I just really, like, I don't know how, how to explain it. I really, really want a hamster. I've wanted one for, like, two whole years. And that just tells me that I think I'm ready for one. So, yeah, we'll see. It probably won't, you know, I probably won't get one anytime soon. But I'm going to start looking into it effectively. So, yeah, another update is that 
recently I've been considering potentially moving out next year. This is the time of year that, you know, uni students have to kind of figure out what they want to do. Sorry, I'm just sort of messing with my hair. Um, yeah, uni students have to kind of figure out what they want to do and sort of decide on where they want to go for the following year. And obviously right now I live at home, but I have been spending so much time at Tom and Emma's flat um, and obviously everybody else that lives in that flat, but I've been spending so much time there and I literally love it. I feel right now ready for independence. I feel ready to do my food shopping, to you know, keep everything clean and tidy, you know, just the usual things. Obviously it's not like having a proper house and having to pay bills because it's to do with like student loan and stuff like that. You know, some things are just automatically done for you. But when it comes to just like, you know, being a little bit more independent with, you know, looking after yourself in general, I think I'm ready for that now. And I just want to kind of I don't know, like, I, I think I could just move out and live on my own. I always thought I wouldn't want to, but I think I'm ready now. Like, I am ready. And I think that might be a possibility. Don't know who I'll move in with, because I would not move out on my own. Like, I live alone. Don't know who I'll move in with or whatever, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, but I do need to, you know, think about this very, very quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's something that I've wanted to do or want to do next year. Also, quite recently, I've been having quite a few nights out. And what, what I mean by quite a few is once or twice a week. I know that some people have a lot more than that. But for me, I never thought that I would go on nights out ever when I was younger. Um, I just mean a few years ago, not when I was really young. Um, I never thought I'd go on nights out because it wasn't my vibe. I never used to drink alcohol or, you know, I would have a, you know, a little sip here and there. I was always very against it. Um... I still am, to a point, quite against that drinking alcohol. The only um, times when I do drink a bit of alcohol is to give me confidence. I don't really, I don't know where this is going, but I'm just gonna ramble and you're just gonna listen. Um, I don't really enjoy the taste of alcohol. I don't know what it is, like it's just, I'll take it or leave it, you know what I mean? Like it's just alcohol, isn't it? To me, uh, you know, I would rather have a soft drink, if I'm honest. But the reason why I drink a fair bit on a night out is for confidence and you know if everybody else is drunk and you aren't then you just you're just not gonna have fun do you know what I mean so or it's gonna be a lot more difficult so I do drink on nights out and I, I try and make it the only time that I actually drink so I tend to go out on a Tuesday and then the rest of the week I won't drink um, until the following Tuesday and yeah I am a little bit of a lightweight thank God because a that's cheap and b you know, you don't want to damage your body with too much alcohol. So I don't need to have that many drinks to be, you know, I can have like two or three drinks and I'll be all right, you know, to have a good time. So that's really good. But yeah, I really enjoy going on a night out. So it's a lot better having Tom there and also my friends because I wouldn't be able to go out on my own. Definitely not. I would not have a good time. It's all about me enjoying myself with my friends rather than, you know, just wandering around on my own. Um, that, you know, I would never do that. So I really like it. It's fun and you can just dance. Usually we'll go, um, you know, set off and leave at about 11, um, leave the flat get there for about 11 and then we'll probably end up coming back in about five or something you know like that at five in the morning or four um so yeah and i love that so right now i'm just taking advantage of the fact that i enjoy going out and i'm just gonna do it um not excessively i think once a week is fine um i never have a hangover the next day because i don't drink that much um it's just about you know having a good time in moderation um and I also just wanted to sort of finish this video off by saying that I'm really happy in general. Just a mental health update. Obviously, if you know me, you know that I used to struggle a lot with my mental health in terms of anxiety. Right now, I'm probably the best I've ever been. Meeting new people, putting yourself into new situations. I I've been absolutely fine, if I'm honest. You know, there is still times where I do struggle, but you know you know a lot of people do so I personally am probably the best I've ever been and I never thought that you know in primary school looking up to my future if I told myself back then that I'd be almost anxiety free having fun at uni loads of friends getting on with my work having a really good time um and not being you know anxious to just go 
to uni. Um, I would not believe myself at all. I never thought it would be possible to even speak to somebody that wasn't, you know, somebody I was comfortable with, let alone be able to interact with so many new people. So I'm just so happy that I've got to this stage. And I will make videos on this kind of thing, you know, mental health, anxiety, that kind of thing, because that's, you know, what I want to talk about on my channel here and there. But overall, I'm really, really happy. And I just... You know, I think YouTube is definitely a factor that helped me with that. So I will talk about this in another video. But yeah, I'm just very comfortable in who I am right now and really enjoying my life. And the only thing that will make my life better is a little hamster. And yes, mum, I will look after the hamster because I'm not an animal abuser. Of course I'm going to look after it. Of course I'm going to clean it out. And I've had two hamsters before and I was pretty young, so I've aged. Anyway, so thanks for watching this little life update video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. You know, just a little catch up. And give the video a thumbs up if you want to. Remember to subscribe. I've got so many more videos coming up. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.